Right, hello again. Here's a, a short tutorial with Sony Vegas 12 Pro 64 bit, and it's about chroma key. Basically, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project. We should go to File New, and we'll just accept File New, and we'll select Yes because we don't want to change any of the settings, so we'll just hit Yes. I'm uh, going to file import and uh, we'll go to the folder where we've got our green screen footage which is um, rightly free and it's not subject to copyright, it's uh, from the internet. Um, it was a trial. Basically so what we've done is we'll just hit the yes and what we can do is now we can go to the pan crop button and we can rotate the video file footage show that it is vertical. So we'll turn the wheel anti-clockwise. There we go. But what we don't want to happen is uh, we don't want this uh, rotation to be keyframed because it is uh, it's actually added in the keyframe. So if we turn that back and scroll back at the start and scroll back to the first keyframe it's been keyframed so we do want that so what we'll do is we will remove the first keyframe by going to cut now when we scroll along it is not keyframed right simple as that so the next thing we do is we want to go to video effects and I want to use one of Sony Vegas's um, uh, a default um, settings or a default filters because um, I don't want to use any filters that are a third party which people uh, may not have within Sony Vegas. So anyway what we'll do is we'll go to green screen with and we will drag this filter onto our footage and as you can see straight away the filter has worked it's had an effect on the footage it's changed the green to blue and now what we want to do is we want to get a good key and what we want to do is we want to remove all of the green so it, it becomes in, invisible or it becomes transparent and a really handy tip is to, is to use the show mask only. So now what we want to do is we want to make the um, subject uh, weight which if we go to a thresh high threshold and if we go to low threshold and if we move it up, as you can see there, she's becoming white. And I, I can see how there's a, an enormous contrast between the black and uh, the white. Now, if we take away the, if we untick Show Moscone, we should have a, a really good key. Um, so, I should be able to see hardly any of the green uh, left over or uh, spilled out but as I can see if you look closely it, it isn't there are um, some areas of grey which still remain here which if we move the uh, threshold up or down that will disappear and it's a question of uh, using your, your expert eye to tweak the settings like this so that's, that's a really sharp when it's all white so now what we'll do is we'll untick the show mask only and we will drag in um, some other footage uh, below the video uh, and we'll drag this uh, water drop clip below the footage and straight away we've got a lovely clean key and if we play this 
forward. There we go. And we can actually move the subject to any part of the video that we want. But that's an example of how to do green screen footage. If we wanted to move the subject, what we could do is we could use the um, pan crop and we could move her over there. But again, you've got to be careful because she will be keyframed when she moves because of these, this here will place keyframe points in as you're moving. If you don't want them in, you can just click here and click at delete or you can right click and select cut so we'll, we'll get rid of that and we'll scroll back to the start and we'll play it and there you go and that's a short demonstration of green screen otherwise known as chroma key where you can use either well you can use any um, footage for your background you can use um, video footage or you can use um, still uh, static footage which could be um, a, a JPEGs or um, picture files. Anyway that's the end of this uh, green screen chroma key footage. If you liked it and if it was helpful can you please hit like and can you please hit subscribe. Thank you very much.